Hey, hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to Astrolog. Thanks for tuning into this reading. This reading is all about how to change your reality. The reality can be very different in different contexts of your life. So you need to watch different signs for different kind of real understanding different realities. You're trying to understand a reality about your physical self. Watch your ascendant sign. If you want to understand the reality of your soul and where it is headed and if you want to change something about it watch your sun sign if you uh, want to change the reality of your thinking abilities and your if you're thinking about something in a very dark way then you should probably watch uh, the moon sign reading and if you want to change something from your romance aspect of your life watch your fifth sign fifth house sign in terms of relationship seventh house sign in terms of beating the competition that you are facing right now sixth house sign and your career tenth house sign related to friends your eleventh house sign bed pleasures if you want to change your reality about bed pleasures that is your twelfth house sign and money related aspects is your second house sign uh, short travel and communications and all those kind of things uh, you should uh, watch your third house sign matters related to your home where you live and your family members you should watch fourth house sign matters related to getting spirituality and guidance from your gurus and elders ninth house sign and if you're looking for some hidden aspects in your life and you're not able to find them and you want to change the reality of this aspect, hidden aspect of your life, watch your 8th house sign. So that is where you will find the treasure You and this is how you need to use the series. So I thought that this would be really helpful for each one of you. But before... Moving on to the reading, I really want to thank you for tuning into my channel. If you want to subscribe, please go ahead and do that. It's great help for me to boost up this channel. And please don't forget to uh, comment your experiences below. And if you want to help me to buy some kind of tarot cards and books that I like to read, I've made an Amazon wish list. You can find the wish list below. And you also can donate something to this channel through PayPal. The link is given below. Thank you so much. And let's get started with the reading. Hello Virgo, how are you? This is your tarot reading, how to change your reality. So let's get started. So we have the first card, Ancestor Spirit White Eagle, which is telling that connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now so basically what i really see that your problem right now in life is affected by some kind of pattern which your entire history of family that you can recall or recollect maybe your grandparents or great grandparents might have all of them have faced the same problem and you are facing that kind of problem right now that's becoming your reality right now it's almost like passing from one generation to another usually th these are very specific reasons why it happens and it is always uh, there on your astrological chart i don't do that kind of astrological reading so i am not the right person to do that but yeah it's always shown in your astrological chart i also have a certain kind of pattern which i share with my father with my uncles and other people so i know there is certain kind of uh, astrological patterns that keep passing on from one generation to another and the problem remains persistent but one can break from that by talking to the spirits talking to the spirits from our own lineage because usually the pattern is there because somebody has made a mistake in the past and somebody has done a huge mistake which brought 
this curse on the family or something like that. And that person really has the key and the answer how to dissolve this curse. And so once you start trying to connect with the uh, ancestors, they try to communicate you in different ways through symbols, through uh, numbers and all those things. And you start moving in a certain direction where you start uh, breaking this pattern subconsciously and consciously in your life. So only thing that I will suggest you right now, based on this one card that I have picked, is that start communicating with your ancestors just the way you will have any kind of conversation with your dad or your mom or anyone in your family. Just talk to them respectfully, although you won't understand their reply because you cannot listen to their frequency, but you will start seeing that uh, over the days you are getting communications from different uh, forms of uh, numbers or messages or songs or random experiences that you will have and you will get the message how to break this pattern. So the next card we have the snake with the sun. So <laughs> it's clearly saying that the snake is the curse that you had from your past uh, generations running in your family is getting this is the time right now to break that pattern with bringing some light in your life, bringing some sunshine in your life. So if you know some kind of sun ritual, please do that. It will help you. Also communicating with your ancestors is very important. It will definitely help you. And this is some kind of ritual which is very important for you right now. Then we have the fool, the ten of wands and five of wands so it's telling me that you are all ready for some kind of divine energy or divine journey you are ready to receive that divine energy and for some reason i wanted to say divine journey it came as divine energy from my mouth so i feel that energy around you is very important right now and you need to Definitely uh, cleanse some energy around you and uh, use some essential oils or burn some kind of incense. It will bring a remarkable change in your life. It will bring a lot of happiness around you and you will be ready to remove the burden off your shoulders and you will be able to go ahead and stand for yourself and uh, when people are trying to push you down or fight with you or try to pull uh, you on the sidelines you will be still able to stand yourself with the guidance of your ancestors the ancestor really wants to correct the mistake right now and they really want you to be an instrumental part in that and they want to see the entire family and the lineage to be happy. They don't want the suffering to keep continuing. That's the way they see this and they want you to communicate with them. So what we have is expectations and pathway. So you have certain expectations from your life and you see that the pathway is laid in front of you but then uh, each time you start walking on that pathway, you fall in a pit. And there's hundreds of such pits that you see in front of you. These pits will be filled on its own the moment you start connecting with your ancestors. Because now your ancestors feel that the suffering has gone enough. One has shown a lot of repentance and have gone through it. the time which was required to fulfill the curse the curse comes with the time like the family will be under this curse for a certain amount of time and then the time is over now the uh, curse will get weaker and weaker as you communicate with the 
ancestors and then they will show you the right path and it's really nice and now the journey forward on this pathway will be smooth and it although it will take time for you to build up that rapport with the ancestors and your lineage and start taking corrective actions but it's the beginning of positiveness in your life and then we have talking smacky smack uh, talking smack is something that I'm not very aware of in this deck uh, so I really want to refer to the book here and let me do that the talking smack that small thing uh, the small that small thinking you have been doing get over it there is no reason to compare yourself with others because there is no other like you the only person capable of putting you down is you so all that remains are three little questions why 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 so first of all uh, now reading through this book uh, what i understand is that you definitely don't believe in yourself that you can change the whole entire destiny of your family and you can connect with your lineage and you can connect with your ancestors you somehow don't have that uh, capacity or the capability that's your initial thought but then it's you who has to believe in it and it's you who has to connect with your lineage and change the destiny of it the entire family and move forward with positiveness so that's your reading Virgo I don't want to give you a pep talk on how you should believe yourself if this message is meant for you you definitely will get that message and understanding otherwise thank you so much for watching this video do watch other signs your sun sign moon sign your ascendant sign if you're really worried about your career see your 10th house sign if you are worried about your relationships see your 7th house sign if you are worried about your education or romance see your 5th house sign and it will help you in different ways the reason why I am giving you this kind of explanation here is I understand that this is a very heavy message and this is not meant for everyone a lot of you will not like this message also I do understand that but it's my duty to share what I receive and what I get the downloading from the universe through these cards thank you so much until next time bye bye